Hi, hi, hi. It's uh, Mr. Aslan, the landlord, um, Vegivore, and I'm about to make a nasi ulam random. So here I have a nasi bungkos, uh, one packet, and uh, two tahu goreng, and two tempe goreng, and um, I'm trying something new. I've got sukun goreng here. Sukun is breadfruit, so deep fried breadfruit deep fried tempeh and deep fried uh, tahu uh, which I will put in my nasi ulam random and I also got some vegetables so first I have a stock of uh, scallion also known as uh, daun bawang or um, spring onions I've got kacang panjang, which are uh, two kacang panjang, which are yard beans, also known as long beans. Um, and I've got a stock of, I think it's down soup. I just grabbed it, not sure what it was. Uh, this is down kasom, satu ikat down kasom, Thai basil. And I've got three of these, where are they? bit difficult for me to see with my, with my short eyes but I've got three kacang bottle four angle beans here okay so I'm gonna top these up I've got um, three uh, okra ladies fingers bende or kacang bende uh, got a piece of curry about a third of a curry left okay what else um, I've got curry plate, down curry, curry leaves, okay, probably going to use the whole bunch. Um, I've got two green serrano chilies, I'm going to use a whole lot. I'm going to cut the uh, top off and then split them into four, get rid of the pith and seeds, so just use the green bits, okay. Oh, I've got a piece of ginger which I'll slice, I'll probably use uh, four to six slices and uh, uh, cut the slices into julians and then cut them crosswise into little dice, okay? Um, I got these two onions. Um, actually, I won't be using this because I already made my onion and tomato concoction which is in my chiller in the fridge, so um, I made that earlier before I went out to get the rest of the stuff um, with um, four cloves of garlic. Four cloves of garlic, um, three rose onions and two ripe tomatoes. Okay, tomatoes were diced, the rose onions were thinly sliced and the garlic were pressed or peeled and then pressed in my IKEA garlic press. And they were all stirred up with one tablespoon of my Himalayan salt, fortified Himalayan salt, which has uh, amla, pagaga, moringa, and a little bit of seaweed and black and white sesame seeds in it. Okay, so I'm going to assemble this whole thing and um, see you later when it's ready to eat. Okay. See ya! One thing I forgot to mention earlier, I've got this Italian mixed salad, which was on sale at a village grocer, 50% less. So. Um, I've used half of it earlier, a few days ago, so I'm going to finish uh, this half uh, off. I've cut up all the vegetables, so they're here. And here I've got the uh, tomatoes, uh, rose onion and garlic with a tablespoon of my fortified Himalayan salt. And uh, uh, what do you call it, about 20 turns of kampot black pepper and a dash of uh, JB sauce and I mix it all up. So I'm going to mix this with the rice, which is here, and the herbs. I'm not going to use the whole lot. I think I'm just going to do half uh, and keep the rest for later. I still have the tahu and some tempeh to cut up, although I did cut up uh, two pieces of tempeh earlier. Okay, so I'm going to assemble this all up in a moment. See you in a bit. Bye. Okay, I mix everything up with some of the rice. I have, um, you know, two thirds of the rice left, so I'm going to have this now. And then if I am still hungry, I have more in here. Also, uh, no, in here, also mixed with the rice and um, all the vegetables. These are all the vegetables without the rice. 
and uh, the rice, the balance of rice is there. But uh, what I also want to show you is this is the container I had of the tomatoes and the onions, which were in the fridge for about, I think, half an hour or so. So what happens is once you dice them and put a little bit of uh, seaweed or salt, uh, through osmosis, the juices from the onions and the tomatoes will be extracted. And this is the leftover juices. And uh, when the juices mingle, they taste very nice. So this is what's actually making the tomato and onion salad to the next level. Okay, also got garlic in there and pepper and whatever. Okay, so it's all in here now. So I'm gonna have it, um, have a taste now, have my, my one meal of the day and um, keep the rest in the fridge and if i'm still hungry i can always have it again uh, but i normally would eat uh, three plates like this at one go for my meal of the day okay that's it for today um tuesday 21st of may 2024 see you next time this is uh, mr aslan the landlord eating nasi ulam random if anything in this video resonated with you, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, leave a comment. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.